Hello everybody, welcome back to my videos. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we are going to install an SSD into my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now this is the non-retina version and it's the 2012 base model. In this video today we are going to install one of these. This is the Samsung Evo and it's the 840 Evo and it's a 250 gig one. And I've got a good deal off of Amazon on this, so I thought, well, we'll go for this. Um, I know my MacBook has a 500 gigabyte spinning hard drive in it, but I don't use anywhere near that amount of storage. So, again, a 250 is fine. Now, what I've done, I have cloned my hard drive, because that is a completely boring task, and you don't want to sit here all the time to watch that. Um, and I've cloned it onto this... Um, SSD which is here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take out the spinning hard drive and we're going to pop in the SSD and it's a very simple process so what I've done I've turned over my MacBook and on the MacBook itself there is these screws around the outside of the back so we're going to remove those and you need a very small Phillips screwdriver to do so these three in the top corner here are longer than the rest of them so you must make sure that you take them out in order and put them back in order okay so we're going to do that and I'll obviously speed up the footage because you again don't want to watch me undo all these screws so again we'll be back in a minute Right, so now we've taken out all the screws and what I've done, I've left them in the space of their corresponding space on the actual back so we can put them straight back in again. Now what you do now is you lift off the back of the case. You just pop it up like that and you just lift it off like that. So we're going to set that aside out of the way for a second. Now inside here you can see we've got the battery, we have the RAM that I installed. We have the fan, there's the motherboard, there's the optical drive, and down in this corner, we have the hard drive. This is the spinning Hitachi hard drive. Now, what we need to do, first of all, is we need to disconnect the battery because, um, again, we don't want any electrical charge if we do this. So we need to just unclip the battery. And the way you do that is you just lift up this little battery plug just here okay now we've disconnected the battery as you can see I've lifted up that plug is now safe to work on the rest of the laptop okay so what we're going to do now is there's two screws on top of here they're the same size they're Phillips screwdriver screws a tiny Phillips we're just gonna unscrew these to remove the retaining bar that's just here so we're just gonna just loosen these off so we can lift up the retaining bar that's underneath. So we're just going to do that and we're just going to lift up, lift up the retaining bar. Like so. And we're just going to pop that off to the side like that. Now you'll see on here we've got a little tab. And this little tab enables us to just lift up the hard drive. And what we're going to do is while we've got it lifted up, we're just going to pop out the SATA cable, which is at the end here. It just comes out. You just ease it out very gently. That's it. And then you can take out the hard drive. And this is the hard drive that came with it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to take off this little tab because we're going to need that to put on the new hard drive. So I'm just going to lift that off for a minute and set that aside. Okay, so this is the hard drive. On the side, you will see there's some mounting points on the side. So what we need to do is we need to take those off and mount those on the new hard drive, okay? So we need a Torx T6 screwdriver, which is one of these, I believe. 
So again, we're just going to unscrew the little mounting points and we're going to put them onto the new hard drive. Okay, so now we've got those off of the hard drive, we can set that aside and we get our new hard drive, which is this SSD, which by the way is a lot lighter as well. And we're now going to put those standoff posts onto this new SSD. So again, just there's mounting holes on the actual SSD drive, so just pop in these and screw them down. Just until they're nice and flush. So we're just screwing down. Just one more to go. So there we go. There's all four pins put into the new SSD. Okay. What we also want to do is just reattach this little sticky tab. Because if we ever want to replace this hard drive, we need this sticky tab. To be able to lift it up so there we go I've reattached the little sticky tab as well so that's that now the way we put it in is we just slot this side in as you know first of all we just pop it pop the SATA cable back onto the drive so again it just clips into the drive like that you locate the mounting posts on the drive on the side of the um, case like that and you just literally slot it down like that so it should literally sit just flush into the case now you get hold of your mounting retaining bar that you took out and you replace that so that goes back in like so and sits over the top and then you get your Phillips screwdriver which is that one and you just tighten it down and what that does is that just clamps everything back into place so that clamps the um, hard drive back into place it won't rattle around and break anything including your hard drive which wouldn't be good okay so that's that's down now that's clamped that in in place as you can see it's a little bit thinner than than the standard hard drive but that's what you want that's fine Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to reconnect the battery and that just reconnects by just pop, popping that little plug back into the socket. Okay, and again, another quick look. That's the optical drive. That's our new hard drive that we've fitted, the SSD. That's the battery. That's the RAM slots in there. There's two 8 gig sticks of RAM in there. And again, that's the fan on the front there. Okay, so what we now do is we take the back of the case and we pop it back on. So we pop it back over like so. And again, it should sit absolutely flush to the case. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the larger screws first. So I'm going to pop those back in like so into the holes. And we're going to screw those down. So there we go, we've now screwed on the bottom of the case. I'll be back in a minute and we'll do a switch on to see whether it boots. Okay, so now we're going to switch it on for the first time, see what happens. Um, we're going to do a boot and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Here we go.
Okay, so there we go. We've got into the login screen. I'm just going to pop in my password. Right, so I'll put in my password. And there we are, straight into the desktop and booted. There we go. So that is my um, installation of a new hard drive. Um, so there we go. Okay. If you like my video, please subscribe. Um, more videos to come. Um, leave comments down below if you'd like to um, ask me a question about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.